Oh, well, that's wild, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't ya? Oh, we got a picture of our new people. But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro. And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Yes, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who you traveled to is up with is up to. Well, what was that, bro? You got your newfangled male gadget. Dear Mario, what's up? <laughs> Dear Mario, what's up? Duke Gumbel is here. I'm still working with Professor Frank Lee. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of Rogueport lore we still don't... <laughs> Not the lore! <laughs> so my research with the Professor goes on and on. With all the info I gathered for you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. See, which you know what the chest that Professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you it's a secret. <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. Oh, okay. Thanks. As part of my research, I did go back to many places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops is living peacefully in Pedalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koop wants to do now? Is he gonna marry her? Oh. He wants to become the mayor of Pedalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might be... It might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has it wrapped around her little finger. <laughs> Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplass has joined the troupe as an actor who saw that coming. <laughs> I mean, it's perfect, though. His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. I mean, job for everybody, I suppose. Oh, and little Egbert? Yeah, he's fighting Solo in the Gliss Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's called himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. That's kind of cute. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? I think it's cute. Oh, and uh, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get me like so bad at me. He said uh, that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sister. She wants to give them another chance. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldam's into evil. <laughs> oh, and Beldam also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, I think the three sisters are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. And Beldam's just like, yeah, my boss is dead. I'm done. <laughs> Cool. Bobbery goes out to sea every day now on Cortez's ship. I think his soul is healed. I ran him a key call he by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy he thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. <laughs> you know, I bet Scarlet's looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on key call key as well, and they say hello. Miss Vows is still running the bad shop at Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit, but as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said that the other day that she actually found some super rare badge, actually. It's our globe-trotting, mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to run a store, steal all the goods. <laughs> I wonder if she'll have more badges for me when I go back. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they mellowed out a lot, just like Beldam has. I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which... <laughs> which really cuts down on mischief-making. <laughs> Oh, Is Tech back? Speaking of miracle survivors, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. No. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, but I guess I better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's no, there's one more thing that kind of weighed on me I never got to express to you. See, I, well, maybe that's best kept a secret. Are you into him too? Seems like all the girls are into him. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Yeah. There should be a picture of Luigi's friends on the mantle, too. Eh, hey, someone's here. Excuse me, sirs. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toastworth found a treasure map. I'm sure we'll lead to the real treasure this time. I just know it. So Mario would love to look for treasures, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. <laughs> Luigi's pushing them out. No, It's the end of our little storybook. I love this game. I love this game all whenever I was a kid so much. The end of the play. <laughs> Paper Mario, the thousand year door. definitely a great game and even if you watched it it's worth a play because there's a ton of play styles there's like you can obviously op yourself and all that kind of stuff i'm still gonna do a little bit of like the extra stuff like whatever i've left like do the uh what do you call it the recipes and try to get the last like secret completion badge and try to get the uh what's his name I'm probably gonna have to cheese them. I hate to be that way, but I'm probably gonna have to just full on pound the power, power dash or whatever they're called badges to kill mush, which sucks. But I just, I literally, something is wrong with me as far as timing. I can't do it. So I would be shocked if I got one and it would totally be an accident. So yeah, we'll get that done. And, uh, do the Pit of 100 Trials again. Because there's a different enemy at the bottom that I need to uh, activate, basically. And uh, what else is theft? Is there more troubles after the ending? Maybe. There might be. I'm sure there's other stuff. I'll try to touch on everything before I end the series. So even though the Queen is dead, the episodes aren't. So, there's a giant-ass bug in here. But yeah, I mean, we'll get her done. It shouldn't take too long. I got most of it ground out. <laughs> Cute way to do the credits. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so I'm so happy they remade this one. And I want to do the first one. I would like to do the third one, but I don't know how I would do that because that was a Wii game. 
And because I don't have a Wii anymore. Um, no, my dad has a Wii. I don't know. I have to look into it. But freaking. Uh, and then. And even I can get my hands on, really, because I love the Paper Mario franchise. I have Origami King. I will do that one of these days. I played it when it came out. It's already at the point where I don't re fucking remember it. I don't remember it at all. So I remember that all the partners weren't, like, creative, and that kind of annoyed me. Because I'm in the camp of I like all the creative little stuff. So that was kind of annoying. But overall, I liked Origami King. It's kind of interesting how you, like, moved the platform to fight. But yeah! And I got really upset at that one point in Origami King. I'm sure you, if you played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ugh. It's amazing how many people go into something like this. Yeah, but, um, I'm sure it's probably actually already out by now because I'm kind of, like, really ahead on the Paper Mario stuff, but me and the boys are going to be filming Danganronpa V3 coming up, so that'll be fun. If it's not already out, it's at least coming up. So, everybody's life stuff kind of settled, so we'll get into that. Because I'm kind of using this game as a bridge point until we can get to that point and do more Danganronpa, so hopefully... In a couple days, or tomorrow, or something, we'll be able to do more of that. <laughs> it's kind of a summary of events, isn't it? This credits. <laughs> but yeah, we're, um... Mikey and Russell agreed to do that recommended game, Mario the Music Box, the fan game. So we're gonna do that as a group one of these days too. So that'll be another project coming up. But yeah. Love this series. Love it. Love the Paper Mario games. Yeah, I only ever played the first one once too and I don't remember much of that either. This is definitely the game that I remember. The end. The play is over. <laughs> oh. Come on, really? Right at the end? I was too busy saying my spiel. <laughs> Saved. Okay. Let's start. We're finished. Got the little badge to prove it. <laughs> You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock I might return to. Well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Wherever you... Whatever you want to go, we're... We are so there with you. Okay, I got my crew back. What did you, uh, say Frankly had for me? Hey, Mario, can we take on the pit of under trials beneath Rogueport? I'd like to try if it's okay. Venturing through the lower levels might help me become tougher, you know? Uh, buddy, we already did that, but we can do it again. Okay, what? Maybe later in this recording session, I gotta... Now nah, it's already getting kind of late, but I gotta read his stuff. So that might end up being the next recording session I do all that reading. Because I gotta buy Luigi's last novel and read all them too so I can do all the reading in like one sitting. 
Because what I could probably do is make a separate episode where I read the... By Super Luigi 5, yes. Because I could probably read all the uh, books and his account. To kind of compare and make a video on that. You seem pretty cheery as always. I'm happy, happily busy with my research. By the by, do you know what that treasure chest we found in the palace? It contained a dried mushroom. Oh no, it's nothing to be disappointed by. Now that we know for certain that people indeed ate mushrooms a thousand years ago. It's a groundbreaking anthropological discovery. Okay, you loser. Okay, is there any more requests? Erase that graffiti. I need someone to go to the 50th level of the Pit of Under Trials for Beach Boom. So I need someone pretty tough, Shaplawi. For details, you can see me next to the cannon statue of Far Alpha, Shaboomity. Sure. Why not? We gotta go down there anyway, so I might as well prep for uh, the other boss. Hey, it said Tech was alive too. Maybe we should visit Tech. Well, I'll prep for the pit. We'll visit Tech, and then we can do the pit. You agreed to help me for my trouble, Shaplui. Thanks, you, Shaboom. There's a dungeon under Rogue Park called the Pit of Undertross a Cow. I heard that one writes a wish on the wall of the 50 level comes true, Shapop. I use a special big explosion to get down to the 50 level and write wish, Shakrek. And then I realized the whole thing was a hoax, Shapop. I risked life going down there for a useless graffiti. I want to erase Shapshoom. I would explode it myself, ease of peas, but getting back down there is not ease of peas, Shakrui. So could you go to the 5th level of the Pit of Undertross and erase graffiti, please, Shaplu? I mean, yeah, we could do that. Welcome, woo, I'm Waka. We got some good weather today, right? Right? I'm sure tomorrow or the next day will be fine, fine too. Waka do. You're annoying. Waka who directed. Okay. This is our prep. We got to do that for a while. Oh, Waka who? I'm Waka or something like that. I'm feeling a touch forgetful. Did I eat breakfast today? Sorry, buddy. I go direct hit. Oh, my dude. My little dude. I didn't think to talk to him every single time, but I probably should have. Wakahoo, wakadoo, wakawak, ahoo. You're strange. Wakahoo. Our little buddy's gone. So I believe we adequately prepped. So, um, yeah. Oh, it's getting kind of late. I might go park my carcass in front of the uh, pit of a hundred trials and end it there. Oh, let me go um, visit Tech first out of curiosity. Tech, my boy. Mario, I am pleased that you could s I could see you again. I detonated explosives after you left to ensure the base could no longer be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day I regained consciousness and all was as before. Yes, everything. I do not comprehend why. But as I regained consciousness, I saw a light and I thought I heard Princess Peach's voice. Hmm. Okay, what's the point of you being here? How is Princess Peach? If she is happy, then I too am happy. I continue to hope for the continued happiness of you, Princess Peach, and all others. I mean, it's nice that he's here, but it's like, dude, give me something of substance. He's like, don't push those. Don't push those. <laughs> See you around, Tech. Okay, I found the place I want to park my carcass. Hey, you. Hey, what's up? I'm Moover, you know. I know a few things about getting things through this dungeon. I got a special deal going on right now where I can take you straight to level 50. Costs a little extra, though. <laughs> yeah, let's go to level 50. <laughs> All right, close your eyes. My secret paths are all secret. Don't open your eyes at all. I mean, it might be a good idea to get this and just go the rest of the way before I end the recording session. I was just going to park my carcass, but it's probably a good idea. There's graffiti on the wall here. Swoosh. Swab's wish. I want to get married to Bobo Link, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids, enough for two soccer teams. Shablui. Oh, God. This graffiti is scrawled on with a fierce hand. It doesn't seem like any amount of rubbing will erase it. Okay. Flurry. Or, you know, this guy. <laughs> Go, boobery. 
Perfect. Erased. And I might as well continue my journey. So that saves me half time. And I wish that guy could do that every single time because that would be awesome. So I guess I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, so final question mark badge power upgrade? I really hope not, but it might just be the last one. Ho oh, ho ho blessing, blessing. Uh, I could, but I kind of want that levels, man. I'm sorry. Okay, we got to see if we can go above 99 badge power. Come on, please, 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 please. Hmm. I'm not allowed, I guess. Nope, you can't increase your badge power anymore. Pooey. I guess it's flower power next. Oh, we're at the bottom already. Sweet. Hmm. Um. Let me Google. Oh, you can't actually fight Waka until you receive an email saying the new creature has taken up residence in the Pit of 100 Trials. So if you've beaten Bone Tail but haven't received the email, head to Keyhole Key in the starting area with the shortcut to Pirate's Grotto. Head to the northwest corner and there you walk up here. Hmm. Crap, I need the email. I didn't know that. <sighs> Whatever. I guess we gotta do this again. Poo. Whatever. EXP's nice. Well... I think uh, I'm done recording for the day. It's getting very late. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> do a little, got a little bit of cleanup to do. Wait for that email for Waka. Do that. Maybe grind for Mush because I can't super guard to save my life. So see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>